It's Halloween week and rather than being a miserable, depressing, spooky week, we have a grand fire trine. So it's the perfect week to leap forward and follow your dreams. But don't forget on Halloween, it's the perfect opportunity to look into a mirror and see your own future. This week, when the grand fire trine hits at the beginning of the week, your focus is very much on resolving some family issues, some emotional issues, some issues where deep within yourself, you want to balance things out. You're reflecting on some of the ways you react to emotional situations, and also some of the ways that other people react in emotional situations with you. You might feel that somebody's maybe being a bit manipulative in your life emotionally, but on the other hand, you have the strength a vision to look into that person and see that it's their vulnerability or their previous damage that may be creating them to be manipulative. You're really getting a balanced view of it. However, because it's a grand fire try and you may be losing your temper at the beginning of the week or feeling very passionate that you want to change that. And the only way we could change things is to change the way we respond. So if you feel that somebody's doing something that you, you know, is disempowering you in some way, you could change your reaction to it. And by changing your reaction, it automatically changes the dynamic. By just going rah, 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 or trying to expect someone to fess up and, and confront their own stuff, we can't do that. We, we'd like to, but often it doesn't work. But what always works is when we change ourselves. Now, after that, the rest of the week, I feel for you has got very good news. You're feeling creative, you're feeling joyful, you're feeling romantic, you're feeling playful. And there's lots of things going on this week, particularly around love, where you're communicating in the most beautiful way. You're making other people laugh, you're on a bit of a high, and you've got so many creative ideas that you're just flowing through you. Make sure you do something with that. And most importantly, make sure you commit to, to playfulness and laughter and having a good time. Okay, on the 31st, there is a little tussle with Uranus that's kind of bringing up some unexpected stuff, but the whole of this week, you're being given the tools to handle your life and, and to experience your life in a new, optimistic and positive, empowering way. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. For more free astrology, articles and tarot readings, come and join me on my website, www.michellenight.com.